Sometimes finding a common denominator in a complex calculus or algebra equation can be really not fun. If you go to the algebra menu on F2, you can see that there's a common denominator in option 6. Doing this, you can enter two fractions. Symbolically, regular numbers does not matter. So we have 1 half plus 6 ninths. Gives us a common denominator and it reduces it for us to 7 6. Now, if we take this and do it symbolically, say we have sine x divided by x times y times z plus let's throw in a y times z divided by an exponential function to the x times y. Close parentheses and enter. Too many parentheses. And now it adds them for us. It puts them all under and it turns out it simplifies to a common denominator of just x. Well actually no, it took the e and then put it up for us. Just to make our life a little easier. You can go back to something simple, just as easy. Just going to clear this all out. Get my common denominator again, which is option 6. And I'm going to go second tangent plus 8 divided by 9. gave us a common denominator and then it put it in terms of sine and cosine instead of leaving the tangent in there.